hello everyone my name is ashish and in this video i'm going to show you how you can quickly create a power bi report with any data set you have within a few minutes so let's start the video go to chrome and download a free data set so here i am on the maven analytics website and from here let's take this restaurant ratings i will download this data set so it is downloaded now let's open this uh, i will have to extract these files extract now let's move to power bi desktop let's skip this and now uh, first of all, uh, we'll have to load the CSV files. So I will load all these files. Uh, let's go on transform data and load the other files as well. Consumers. Okay. So I have loaded uh, these five CSVs and uh, let's do some basic transformations and uh, as we can see uh, in consumer preferences table uh, i have uh, this i will have to trans go to transform and uh, use first row as headers uh, in consumers uh, it's fine in ratings uh, this is also fine restaurant cuisine is fine restaurants is also fine now let's check the data types if it is fine if it is good or not so uh this is good consumers uh this is text 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 this is good now let's go to ratings uh data type is good here also it's fine here also it's good so we have done the basic checks now let's load these uh csvs into our data model so i will close and apply and the tables are loading and it will load within a second yeah the table is loaded i will just go to relationships and check if the relationship is fine here i can see i have a consumer table dimension table restaurant dimension table and i have rating table linked to these restaurants and consumers and i have restaurant cuisines consumer kitchens uh, con sorry consumer preferences let's check the join keys if those are correct uh, i cannot see that let's go to properties and pin related fields to top of the card click on yes now let's check the keys so it's a rest it's uh the restaurants and restaurant cuisines is connected on restaurant id which is fine uh restaurant id it's good consumer id and this one is consumer id the relationships look good to me now let's go to report view so the trick that i'm going to show you in this video is not preferred when you create an end-to-end -end project because in that you first create a data model uh, by creating uh, the measures the calculated columns that you need uh, following all the best practices but in this in this video i'm going to show you if you want suppose you have suppose you are given a data set uh, and you want you are told to generate a report very quickly in that case only you should use this so the trick is so i'm going to generate a report uh, using nlp you have an nlp q a natural language processing so for that i will double click on this uh, canvas and it will add a uh, nlp this q a what we can do is we can uh, ask questions from our data set and it will generate a chart for me and uh, i will i will add that chart to my canvas so first of all let's see uh, what i can ask so in restaurants i have restaurant details in consumer i have consumer details and uh, in ratings i have 
overall ratings service rating and food ratings first of all I what I can do is I can check the smoker how many how many consumers are smoker and uh, non non smokers so let's ask count of consumers by smoker so it has generated a bar chart which is cool that these people are non smokers these people are smokers and these are blank so I don't want to include this blank in my chart what we can do for that I will write where smoker is not blank now it's good so let's let's add this chart to our visual for that what we can do is we can click on this switch to visual icon so as you can see on tooltip this turn this Q&A result into a standard visual so I will click on this and now I uh, one visual is ready similarly let's again double click on this canvas and it will generate another Q&A let's ask one more question on uh, marital status so I will write total consumers by marital status and it has generated a bar chart again but uh, this time I don't want a bar chart suppose and I want a column chart so I can write as column chart and uh, again I can see that uh, there are there is a null which I don't want I want only single and married so I will write where marital status is not blank which is good let's turn this into a standard visual let's add one more chart and I will ask total consumers by budget where budget is not blank this is good again double click here and uh, I will write I will take one more visual which will be the restaurants having parking or not so uh, total restaurants by parking and let's convert this into standard visual now I will align this roughly I will I will align this roughly and uh, I will do the formatting uh, afterwards let's align this now let's uh, let's also add uh, some card visual so for that let's do in this rating table I have overall rating service rating and food rating so let's take the average rating uh, so I will do average 
overall rating and convert this into a standard visual let's take another one average food rating and convert this into standard one we are done I will do the formatting afterwards uh, now what I will do is I will change the theme so go to view and uh, click on more themes and customize current theme here I will add some colors as per my choice so we will come to this website so we can choose colors from here uh, colorhunt.co so let's choose some popular color themes I will choose this first one I will just copy the color code and add it here in color one Up. okay and add another color in sentiment colors this is fine divergent colors is uh, divergent colors I will choose this for max this will choose this deep green for middle it will choose this one and for light it will choose this one now our color is done do we have anything in advance no go to text in uh, text uh, these things are fine in title I will choose Sejo UI semi bold font is fine KPIs let's choose bold and instead of 45 let's pick 40 tab headers is fine visuals and I want a background which is slightly grayish in color slightly grayish and this is fine transparency zero cool border I will turn off turn on this border and add the same grayish color and in radius I will add 10 pixels in header I will I will leave it as as it is in tooltip is fine go to page page background oh sorry I did a mistake in visuals I don't uh, I don't want any background color so let's copy this and uh, I want a white color here I want white so in visuals I want white and in page I want this color which I have copied slightly grayish and uh, turn this transparency to 0% filter pen I don't want to change anything so our theme is ready let's apply this and our dashboard is looking beautiful now we will have to resize it and rearrange the visuals so let's resize this and uh, this I want all the visuals to be the same size so what I can do is I can I can just uh, I will select all these four visuals and uh, go to format. I cannot do this. Okay, so let's bring it to the middle of the page. Okay, a slightly left and uh, this one to the slightly right. This is fine. Okay. So these intelligence lines we can. So it is looking good now and uh, 
click on each KPIs and uh, go to formatting and in go to general properties and size I will choose let's choose 115 only and uh, in width I will choose 200 now this is less let's choose 250 mm, let's choose 260 actually and in height I will choose 150 so now these are of same size let's format and go to align and align bottom and uh, distribute horizontally okay this is good now let's uh, write a title uh, I will choose a text box uh, remove the background remove the visual border and I will write let's reduce the size a little bit little bit more this is perfect now we can go to each visual and uh, I will add shadows to these visual let's add slightly uh, less dark and this one is fine so let's just copy paste the formatting in all these chart so now our report is ready within very less time and you can share this report to your stakeholders so that was it for this video if you like my content do not forget to subscribe my channel to stay connected thank you everyone